Hey guys, so one of the previous episodes I talked a bit about how I started this whole like tax, task management journey this year uh, to get better at organizing my time throughout the week. Um, and that's going pretty well. What I wanted to talk a bit about today is the actual tasks and the things you have to get done throughout the week. How do you manage that? I mean, traditionally, we'd write things down on pieces of paper, but these days there's so many different tools to use. You know, which one do you pick? And how do you choose to even use a particular type of tool, if not more than one? I found that really, really hard. <laughs> I'll kind of tell you why. Um, I've used a bunch, um, and I actually, to take a step back, I worked for years in a IT organization where part of my role was working in kind of a high, uh, support center. So I, my job was a kind of call center, take calls, register tickets, work those tickets, and then close them out. So I have this innate habit of um, always kind of looking for a cue, so to speak, of work to be done that either I've created or somebody else has sent us as a group or sent myself to work on. And that's fine. There's nothing really wrong with that at all. So long as you have a process that kind of gets you through that on a regular basis and you're inspired to continue doing work. That last part's what I've struggled with a lot. And it's actually hindered a lot of the work that I've done in the future, even up to this point, or rather it's kind of slowed it down because I always end up thinking that there's other work that needs to get done that I don't know about or worse, I'm really excited about this thing over here, but I know there's a pile of other stuff over here that needs to be done, and how do you choose? Because this is weird, but for me, that stuff that is inspiring that I really wanna work on, to me, for some reason, feels like I'm not supposed to be doing it. I'm supposed to be focusing on these things over here. It's the stuff I don't really wanna do, I'm not excited about it, but it's gotta get done. And that's weird, how do you, how do you sort of balance that? Um, I've been always looking for a tool that could help me do it, and the short answer here is that while I'm going to talk about a couple of tools that I think actually do help and can work for you, the reality is you need to have a process. I think all of us innately know that, but we don't say it to ourselves very often or people don't say it to, to you to kind of encourage you to look at that. But the reality is you got to have a process. You have to have a workflow that is comfortable for you, that gets you through your day, your week, your month, accomplishing what you need to accomplish. And then there are tools that I'll talk about today that can help you organize those tasks a little bit better so you can go to them and grab them and get them done as quickly as possible and then move on with your day. But you need to have some way of laying out what your days and weeks look like so that you can better focus on the things and then block off time to go work on those individual tasks. Okay, so having said that, what I wanna chat with you a bit about right now is some of the tools you can use to do that with. And this is obviously not all inclusive. There's a ton of different ways you can handle this from just picking up a book and writing it down, like a, a you know an organizer kind of like I've got here or a notepad or some other way. There's, there's a lot of things you can do here. Um, what the point of these tools, generally speaking, is to keep track of your to-dos or your tasks. These are, in my opinion, individual things that accomplish either themselves by, by themselves, and it's just a thing you need to get done, more likely they are part of a larger thing you are working on. Whether that is some sort of internal company project, a project for yourself, or something leading to a larger relationship engagement, whatever they are, they're individual things that you need to go do. An example would be send an email to a client following up on a, a in-person meeting or sending a text message to respond back to a customer's question or a friend's question about something. Whatever it is, they're just things you wanna write down and keep an eye on so you can go back and do them at some later time. Now, there's a handful of tools out there I've used, so I'll speak to those because I have some experience with them and kind of some of the pros and cons of each one. Uh, products like Simple Note, Trello, uh, let's see, Reminders on my iPhone, and then Remember the Milk. Those those have been kind of some of my favorites. I've used them over time. I don't use all of them right now, but I have used them. Now, tools like Simple Note and Trello, again, they're really simple note-taking sort of apps that you can, uh, or sorry, Simple Note and then like uh, uh, Notability or Evernote, they're really good at writing notes down, being more verbose in some cases, adding in some structure like check boxes or lists, things like that. But one of the challenges I had with them is all of them is that they're designed to allow you to write out whatever you want, which can also be a problem because then you tend to spend more time being verbose about the task that you're writing out rather than simply writing the task down as it is so that you can just check it off later and then know it's done. So what I've opted for those is to use those sort of tools. And what I use right now is Notability because I'm a, a Mac user, so I have iCloud. And Notability, I can have on my iPhone, my Mac, 
book my uh, my iPad and all the notes sync with each other so it works really, really well and I don't need an extra subscription to do it. But Evernote also works great for this and there's many others that do that too. And they're really good for note taking but I've actually avoided those these days for anything other than just verbose note taking. What I usually opt for is a tool like a Trello or um, Reminders or uh, Remember the Milk to keep uh, keep track of all my tasks. Now, personally, again, kind of going back to the Mac thing, I've actually found that the Reminders app on the um, in the Apple ecosystem works really well because I can use Siri or other dictation to quickly just call it out and add something to that list so that every single time I think about it, I just quickly add it to a list and drop it in. That's key because you don't want any barrier to entry. Get notes or get tasks written down so you can go get them later on whenever necessary and you don't think about it so much. It becomes habit. So using something like a Remember the Milk or whatever else, net doesn't necessarily have that same integration, but so long as you grab it and you quickly write it down, you're okay. Of all of those, Remember the Milk is probably my favorite because it is the simplest and it is designed to be as minuscule as possible. It's literally a list of things I need to do, like remember the milk, remember to get kitty food, remember to email this person. There are advanced tools you can use to make it more organized and whatever else, but something like that is very, very simple. And I guess my advice to you here is, I know I've talked about a lot of these different um, apps, I'll put them in the, sh the notes below. I've talked a lot about these. My point to you is figure out a process for yourself for how you want to work tasks on any given day, throughout the week, how much time you want to spend on them, what you're comfortable with, what you need to do, etc. Then pick a tool or cycle through a number of these tools. A lot of them can be tried for free. Cycle through a bunch of them and try them out and see what works in your workflow. Do not feel bad about going through multiple apps and dropping one, trying another one, and then maybe coming back and trying that again because you don't really know what you need until you start using them. So go through them. It'll take a bit of time and that's okay. It, I think that process and that journey is actually more important than the tool you use. Um, so long as you've got the process, you'll end up finding a tool that works in your workflow for today. Maybe that'll change later and you just continue on. Hopefully that was helpful. I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.